In this video, we are making the plan of a building based on a point cloud. After importing the point cloud, activate the 3D view. Add a vertical filter that allows you to see the section of the building. You can save the section of the point cloud as a filter which can be managed later in the Filter Regions dialog. Set a view in the 3D window which is particular to the section. Activate the Adjust Floor Structure command, which allows you to graphically edit the floor structure of the project. Set the height of the ground floor, then the first and the second floor too. By pressing the Ctrl button on your keyboard, the snapping will be activated. Add a horizontal plane filter to the point cloud. Set its height so you can see the ground floor of the building and save it. By setting different names to the filters, you can identify them later. Deactivate the visibility of the structure filter. Right-click on the point cloud and refresh the floor plan based on the filter. Now you can easily calculate the thickness of the walls needed for this building. Measure the thickness and set it in the wall properties dialog. Activate the Void Detection command from the ribbon bar. With this tool, Arch and XP can detect the direction of the vertical planes based on the point cloud. Simply select the plane that has the correct direction, then set the first and the last point of the wall. The wall will automatically be created on the floor that you set with the Adjust Floor Structure command. In this case, we are working on the ground floor of the building. Repeat these steps until you create the required walls of the building. Join the corners of the walls to get the final shape of the ground floor. Change the visibility of the two saved filters so we can add the slab to the building. Set a perpendicular view to the filter and activate the slab detection command from the ribbon bar. Click on a part of the point cloud that is below the button of the voice to set where you want to create the slab. The slab is created within the bounding box of the point cloud. Offset its edges to match the parameter of the walls. Hide the point cloud in the 3D view and select the previously created walls and slab. Copy them to the first floor. Add the roof to the building. The roof is created with the default settings because we want to change its parameters after it was created. Enter its properties and create a gable end at the two shorter sides, then set the remaining two planes angle to 13 degrees. Make the point cloud visible again, the switch of all filters with the main switch. Now you can see both the point cloud and the created building. To finish the project, we need to add windows to the building. In this specific case, it is useful to use both the 2D floor plan and the 3D view to modify the window size and position. Change the width and height of the window to fit the hole in the point cloud. Select a window type from the library that fits the original window. When you are finished with the change, you can position it on the floor plan for the perfect fit. 
With the create similar comment, copy the window to the other positions. You can do this step on the floor pen or in the 3D view as well. Make the point cloud invisible in the 3D view and you can see that we recreated the building only with the use of the point cloud. No other measurements were needed to finish this project.